I'm oh, trying out this tripod here. Go ahead and talk. That's why I've got you here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can see quite a few bees coming in. They've... I leave my keys in the car. Um, I left oh, my not. keys in the car. Dang it. Plus, I locked the door. Well. Look at all those bees coming in with pollen. Let's see if I can get closer. Oh, they're doing good. There's plenty of flowers. Yeah, anyway, I got my keys. We used a stick to open the door. Both cars are not too hard to open. All right. Look at that. Almost all those bees have got pollen on them. Definitely uh, used all this sugar up. I'll probably ought to replace this. What, what was the pine needle for? Just to keep them from drowning. Oh, that's cool, so they could grab onto it. Yeah. Looks like some of them did drown though. <laughs> yeah, occasionally they do. Let's try this tripod. Hey, look at this. What's wrong with that? That looks great. How far they've been making it. This one is I think, the last one in the range. You can see that. Yeah, it looks like they're they're just pulling sugar out of it, aren't they? Yeah. Let's pull a few of these out so get them to work. Oh yeah, they're they're storing something orange in there. Like look at that orange. Yeah, it's pollen. Pollen? Yeah. Looks like a liquid though. Well, they might be wet. Mm -hmm. They do mix it with honey. Right. Make uh, bee bread out of it. Nice. Doesn't look like they're building onto this yet. So you cut that? Yeah, those are the ones that I cut to make better. And they have built on. Exactly. Look at this. Ooh, that looks perfect. Like yeah, they're starting to store nectar. Look at that. Full of. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't see. You can see down in here the shiny liquid. Oh yeah. Nectar that's, they're storing. Oh, well, that's honey, right? Well, it's not honey yet, it doesn't look like. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, girls. I thought once they took the nectar and made it back into pollen, uh, once they took it back to the knife, it was like already considered. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. The bees turn it into honey. Uh, by like a fermentation process or what? They, uh, they preserve it, kind of like canning. They preserve the nectar. They, they dry it, they dry out all the water. Mm -hmm. And uh, add enzymes to help uh, the sugars break down. Right. Uh, it looks like they're trying to lay more drones. I probably ought to move this frame back. So like that. Wait. This. You really don't want to move it around too much. That probably confuses me a lot. Yeah, that's all right. Maybe we should move one of these over there to give them more space. Maybe not quite yet. See, see all these drones they're making? Where are they? Oh, the all of those cells middle, are, are Yeah, these, cells. these large cells in the middle of the frame. Oh my gosh. But this time of year, they. They have an instinct to make lots of drones. That's actually why I can't put a frame down in the middle of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, are those all drones too? Or no, just those yeah, big ones just there. The big ones. Tops, but the ones that are sealed are honey. Oh no, those are regular brood. Oh, just regular babies. Yeah. Do they usually seal honey? Uh, the when it's when it's all done. Yeah, for time. All right, this stories. one looks like it's all drones. <laughs> It's actually, I think I might take this one out completely. Let's see. Alright. Yeah. This would be a good frame to use as a bait frame, I guess. 
bait frame? Yeah, to help with the roll mites. So, if you just put a lot of... Yeah, that's, that's nothing but drones. Let's get rid of that. Take this over to the freezer and freeze it. Looks like a lot of them are hatching out, so... Probably should have took this out earlier. Let's set this over here so the bees can get back. Um, where did this one come out of? Um, the, it was like right before the drone. Okay. So, drones are really not helpful to you, but they're helpful to other beehives. Yeah, they can help mate with virgin queens. Yeah. So it's not particularly favorable for us to be growing drones right now, I'm assuming. Yeah. Well, this time of year it's all right. But you're going to freeze this. Yeah, I'm going to kill all those. I'm looking at this. Uh, Hey, look at that Aurora mite. Uh-oh. See on this little guy here that I just pulled out of the cell? I don't know if the camera can see it, but there's a little mite crawling around on him. Oh, we need to grab that off, I guess. I'm just going to chuck it out of the hive. Well, wait, can't he just get back? I wonder how many mites I got in this. Isn't he going to get back, though? No. Doesn't look like we've got too big of a mite problem. It's good to take some of those drones out. I think what I'll do actually is take one of these. I'm just gonna like cut the tops of the cells to kill the drones and thereby kill the mites. So if the drones are killed, the mites are killed? Yep. How do the drones affect the mites, though? The mites like to lay their eggs in the larger cells. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that, there's a bee under there. Oh, you, you, know, you just crushed him. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. All drones too. Okay, but some it is. Oh, but there's a lot of baby larvae in there too. So you don't want to kill the larva ones because they're the mites aren't in them yet. Yeah, but you can just know. take this, put those. Well, how's oh, oh no, yeah, no, see wait. that mite? Oh. oh, what? What the heck? Oh, oh there, see. Nasty. Oh, we need to like incinerate those or something. Squish it. <laughs> Burn in hell. Wait, so how is that killing the drones? I mean, you're just opening the pods pretty much. Well, I'm opening them and, uh... Ooh, that was just... Killing them and then the bees will clean it out and it'll kill the eggs from the mites. Kill the there are a couple of adult... Oh, there's a mite in there. There's a mite in that one right there. Yeah, there, there are... That one. There are a couple of adult mites that will get away from me, but you. at least all the eggs will be killed. Yeah, so I guess the mites won't last longer in there. Jeez, that is precisely why so many hives in the area died out this winter. Because yeah, mites... Apparently this area's got a lot of mites. Yeah, we need to get some mint oil on them. I think, I think when I get them some food, I'm going to put some wintergreen oil in with it. Just to, yeah. just to help uh, keep the mites from sticking to the bees. So why were some of the baby cells open? Um, well, they don't cap them until they pup until the pupae stage. Uh, so they just implant some eggs, and then 
Just let them grow. Oh, there's a lot in there. They just implant eggs and let them grow? Yeah. Well, it's like... You see there's their eggs down the bottom there. Uh, what, and they feed them and get them growing until they, you know, a good, good size and then they cap it and let them keep paid into an adult bee. Oh, nice. And they hatch out. So, they're like, um... Ooh, that looks like all cells. Yeah, this is a good frame. Or maybe it's all honey? No, that's all baby bees. Oh, okay. They really aren't oh. storing... Okay, you right? good. Yeah. They aren't really storing too much honey. Yeah. I think I think this is the frame I put in there most recently with the foundation. Or it, it might have been the one uh, before this actually. So when all these baby when all these baby bees hats, it's gonna be a million bees pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the new one. Oh look, there's some queen cells. Wait, let me see. Just right on the edge here. I don't know if over here. camera can see it. Ooh. Those are huge. And there is an egg inside of there. Huh. So they're thinking of swarming. Let me see the egg. Down the bottom of that one. This one? Yeah. How do you see the egg in there? It's kind of hard. It's right down the very bottom. It's huh. very small. It's all good. Looks like three of them have got eggs in it. Like that. Four. So three new queens. Huh? Yeah. Next week I'll come by. They'll have this. Uh, coming along and I'll just cut that out and go put it in a nuke. In a nuke? Yeah, um, a small hive that the queen can hatch and mate without bothering too many bees. <laughs> right. So, I guess these guys are so strong they want to swarm already. Swarm? Yeah, that's how they reproduce. What's that? The, the old queen leaves, a new queen takes over. Half the, bee, half the bees go with the old queen to make a new hive somewhere else. Oh, that's nice. I don't know how this camera's pointed. All right, I'm gonna draw an X on top of the bar where the queen cells are, just so I can find them. All right, is that still recording? Mm-hmm. Flashing. All right, there's another queen cell and some more drones here. It seems weird they're making that many drones. Yeah, they, they do that in the beginning of the spring, so they, you know, it's just their instincts to make lots of drones. Yeah. So, so they like have a unique. better chance of mating with a queen. Oh, that drone was almost ready. Yeah. Oh. So we'll look down in that queen cup, see if there's an egg. So they really don't need that many well, yeah. drones. Yeah, there's no egg in that one. Here, let me get these guys out of the way. Right. I'm gonna draw another X there so I can remember where that's at. Right. For what? Where the queen cell is, so that next time I come by, I know right where they're at. Yeah. Ooh, that looks great. Yeah, that is actually pretty good. There's babies There's and another honey. queen queen cup on the end. They're not queen cell. They're not called queen cells until they got an egg inside of them. Oh crap! Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just a cup still. Yeah. All right. Uh oh. What? Yeah, uh, just a bee was trying to sting me. Oh, that's not good. Ooh. All right, and this is all drones. <laughs> oh. So my. I'm gonna go ahead and shake the bees off this and go freeze this one too. So many bees on that one. It's like a chain of bees on the bottom there. Yeah. That's crazy. All right, just set this over here for now. Drones don't really do any work though. They just kind of. Yeah, their only purpose is to mate with a new queen. They need a lot of them so that they have a good chance of getting one to mate with her. But other than that, they just sit and eat honey all day. <laughs> Go out and fly. Eat honey. Yeah. I'm gonna come by later today and put those frames back after they've been froze. I'm also gonna give them some sugar with some wintergreen oil in it. Some methyl salicylate. Yeah, it's, it's toxic to mites. But not to bees, hopefully. Well, in low quantities, it's not. 
Yeah, just put the hive back together real quick. Well, these are buzzing in the trees to make some honey just for me. When you look under the rocks, fancy. take a glance at the fancy ants. Fancy ants? <laughs> yeah. Fancy ants. Let's see that. Knock these bees down in here. down there. There's a little bit of honey in here, but... I need to put some uh, empty bars in with some foundation so that they can have more room for the queen to lay. But if I just put a regular bar in empty down in between here, They'll, they'll draw it out with drone comb, guarantee it. They, if you put an empty bar in? Yeah, this bar was basically an empty bar that I put in, and they just drew it out with uh, drone comb. Really? Yeah. That was at the beginning? That was at the very front? It was it was at the very front because I moved it there. Oh. But, uh, hey, a spider. Spider? Should we let that in or no? Yeah, kill it. <laughs> oh, it Hold on yeah, jump away. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get this sucker out of here. You think you can steal all this honey? You think you can make a web? But don't you think they might actually have some kind of symbiotic relationship? I think they'd end up eating the bees. The spider would end up eating baby bees? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. The bears. <laughs> Where did you put that uh, frame? Oh, I see. Okay, it's a little better. So if you the camera stopped recording for some reason. Oh, that's I wonder when it did it. Anyway, yeah, there's people. <laughs> anyway, we uh, just did this. Now we're just locking the hive back up. The bare necessities of life will come to you. All right, um, they'll come to you. You got those frames? Let me uh, show the camera it just. All right, so we've got these uh, drone frames. Let me put them inside the freezer. Just got them set in here and uh, let them freeze for a couple hours. I pulled out some bees and there's definitely lots of mites in there, so that's good. And we'll come back in a couple hours. All right, as promised, I'm making some sugar for the bees. I put uh, four pounds of sugar in this jug along with enough water to dissolve it. And I'm going to be putting in some uh, wintergreen oil. Try to see oil of wintergreen here. Just a couple of drops in there because it is toxic to most animals including bees but it's more toxic to the mites than it is to the bees so a small amount of this will uh, disturb the mites and uh, make them not grow as fast but it shouldn't have much of an effect on the bees and it's certainly better than the chemicals that they normally use which the mites are becoming resistant to anyway. All right, uh, I'll, I'll shake that up in a little while. Uh, show you this here. I've got the drone frames, which are now froze solid. Yep. Unfortunately, a lot of them weren't uh, ready, but yeah, I should have quite a few mites trapped in this. I can see these. Uh, Queen cups along the sides and bottom of this. Looks like a couple of them have actually got eggs inside of them. So, oh well. It's more important to get rid of the mites. Alright. See you over at the hive. Alright, we're back at the Westminster Hive. We got these uh, drone frames here which have thawed out a little bit, but are still cold. And uh, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife and scratch open all these cells so the bees know to clean them out. And uh, yeah, the bees will clean them out for me quite quickly. You can see some of the drones that I killed uh, earlier today that the bees have already taken out. You can see one of them there. Most of them they probably flew quite a ways off. But yeah, get my pocket knife and scratch those open. Scratch them open so the bees know they are dead. The bees will come by and fix this all up. Looking into some of these uh, drone cells that I pulled out. There's, you know, most of them don't have any mites, but a few of them are just chuck full. There's a couple right in the middle. I don't know if you can see, but there's uh, some young white mites. And you know, there might be 10 of them in one cell and none in the others. So, you know, this is a early stages of the mites development. Yep. I definitely killed several hundred of them by doing this. A <laughs> kid walked by at a bad time. <laughs> Alright, and then I found the best way to scratch open the cells is take the knife and rake it sideways like this. See? With them still froze, they pop open pretty easily. Just knock the top off. You might have noticed earlier I was cutting, cutting the tops like this. That works, but I I've decided this is a better method. Yeah, you might can see there's a mite right on the top there. See, that's one of the mites. Yeah, looking at the camera, you can see that's pretty good. Good view of it. The older mites are dark. The really young ones are white. Yeah. Scratch off the tops of all these cells. And I'll just put it back in the hive where it was. Let them fill it up again. Yeah, you can see a mite there. Alright. I'll flip this over and do this side. Alright, you see? I'm just going to put this back where it was, which was on the very edge of the brood chamber. This is a uh, on the outside edge where the queen was laying eggs. And that's where they naturally want to produce drones anyway, so there I go. And when they're done uh, trying to produce uh, drones, they'll just backfill that with honey. And of course, they're gonna, you know, it's still a little cold. I probably should have waited for it to warm up. But it'll warm up pretty quick, and the bees will get to work uh, clearing out all those cells. Yeah, just leave a little gap there so it fits properly. I might have it in backwards, but it's all right. Yeah, just looking at this, this is a very strong hive. It's only late April, and they're already got this all the way full clear back to here. They're not storing very much honey, but it's certainly got a lot of bees. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tighten these bars up. All right, I got a half gallon of the sugar feed with the wintergreen added to it. There's only three drops of wintergreen oil in this whole gallon of sugar feed. You can kind of see a little bit of a sheen of an oil on top. I mixed it up pretty good, so it is rather emulsified in there. Has a nice uh, minty flavor to it. I can taste uh, the wintergreen is the same stuff they use in some uh, mints, you know, fl uh, mint flavored mints for your breath. So in small quantities, it's very good actually. Has a good f smell to it, and uh, it'll definitely help with those mites. 
Uh, later on, I'll start using, uh, I'll switch from wintergreen to lemongrass and then back to wintergreen just to change things up so the mites don't get used to any one thing. Yeah, I'm just checking for leaks here. So you don't want that much uh, sugar water going down onto the bees. They seem to be taking it all right. This here's just some that I put there. There's a bee, already found it here. I'll just find some dry grass put in here so they don't drown. And then I'll get a piece of paper or cloth to wick it out to them. Other than that, I'm pretty much done. I've got to clean up a little bit. There's some drones that fell out. You know, there's some uh, beekeepers I know that actually harvest this as food. Supposedly, the drones have, you know, have a, a nut-like flavor to them. I've never actually eaten them before. <laughs> Maybe I should try. <laughs> Here it goes. Very nut-like flavor. Almost like walnut. Interesting. Maybe I shouldn't be throwing them away so readily. Hmm. It's not bad, actually. Hmm. Maybe I'll save them sometime. Uh, not sure if I want to do that now. <laughs> it's kind of weird eating bugs. Let's just uh, throw these over here in the garden. All right. And the bees will pack out those in the frames. They'll just fly them out, probably drop them near the river. Alright, how'd it look in here? Alright, looks like the spacing is okay. There's a spider here. Yeah. Alright. Let's, uh, one last thing I'm going to show in this video. Let's, let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom board here. Oh, there's bees getting in there again. I need to fix that. Yeah, I can see a couple of mites down on here. There's one right there. Another there. Yeah, the mites are already starting, I guess. I need to seal this up so those bees can't get in there. I bet those bees that are in here are covered in mites as they get down and the mites just jump, jump back onto them. Let's just uh, knock that loose, brush it off. Maybe I'll come by tomorrow and uh, seal it somehow so the bees can't get into there. I like having it be able to slide out so I can look at it. Yeah, I think I need to put something on there to seal it. See that bee almost went in there. Oh, look, they're already carrying out the drones. Yep, see? Just pulled it out. Just trying to get it airborne. It's a little big for that little bee. Let's see if I can help it. Yep, no, it's just going to leave it there. Yep. Alright, I'll, I'll go get my piece of fabric and uh, put the hive back together. And that should be it for today. Yep. See you next time.